Greetings guys, this is Stockcraft, and today, as I've told in the last video, I'm beginning my grind towards the Centurion Action 10. As you can see, I am at the Comet at the moment, at around 23,000 experience. I've calculated everything out. When I unlock all the modules of the next tanks with my free experience that I have, a crap ton of experience, I will be able to get the Centurion Action 10. But I still have to get 50,000 regular experience per day because I only have a week to go to try and grind the Centurion Action 10. So it's not, I'm not even sure if I manage to keep this going, but I'll just start the grind anyway and make this video just to make sure that yeah, the, 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 the start is there. But as we can see, I've still got a long way to go. Most of this is from uh, this experience is from yesterday because I was able to play a little yesterday. As you guys have known, yeah, as I've told in the last video, this was the last week of school and I got a day off today, which is really nice. And I spent my day repairing a laptop of a friend, so that one is working again. And I um, did some other things, such as cleaning my room and all that stuff and making everything ready for the holidays, so that is all fine. But as you can see, I've still got a long way to go towards the Centurion Action X. And I have to say, I really do want the Centurion Action X, not because I want to do the FE4202P missions, but I want to get another tier 10 finally in God knows how long, because my only tier 10 tanks for the people that have watched my channel for a long time are the E100 and the FE215B as we can see that is right that's the conqueror here it is FE215B this will get replaced in the future although I hope that it will not because I absolutely adore this tank although my statistics in this aren't really that good but that was this was my first tier 10 tank in the game and at that time I didn't really know how to play with tier 10 tanks same for the E100 my statistics aren't very good but well that doesn't really matter so I think we should start off this grind video with showing you a replay of the Comet a game that I had yesterday which secured my ace tanker badge so I'd say let's get right into it so guys, as I said, this is the replay that I wanted to show you. This is my ace tanker in the Chrome of in the Cromwell in the Comet. Uh, that achievement, yeah, is really nice. Of course, I managed to ace my Chrome my Comet. Uh, I nearly said Cromwell again. <laughs> I managed to ace my Cromwell. <laughs> okay, cut, cut, start again. I managed to ace my Comet yesterday. I just brought my premium account because I wouldn't be able to do this grind without premium account at all, of course. But that's really logical. So when I bought my premium account, I played one game and one, that game didn't go very well. I lost and I thought, okay, I had to do this again. Although I was really tired because school tired me a lot. I still wanted to go again. So this is the game that I ended on in. So we are driving on steps. In a very good matchup, there's only tier 7 tanks, a lot of health on the enemy team because there's a lot of tier 7 heavy tanks on the enemy team. And as you can see, I am on one of the only ones going towards this flank. But it doesn't really matter because most of the enemy have gathered around at the other flank as well, just as my team did. So this is a very good thing to take into consideration because that means that there aren't going to be that many enemy tanks on this flank. Apart from this T-30... 485 and a Jeffy that just got spotted in the middle. He managed to spot me as well. So I'm looking for the shot here. I see that his tracks are peeking out, but of course my shell goes to the right and hits his upper plate in an extreme angle and it bounces. Doesn't really matter though because I'm not too afraid of this tanks and I know that I've got backup. There's a Yak Panther and another light tank. I can't quite see what kind of light tank it is. Looks like a leopard. Yeah, it's a leopard. We've got a leopard as well Enemy coming down this flank to help me. So the T3485 has got a bad and a good position because he is exposing himself to a lot of tanks, but well. Oh, AMX M445. One of the only heavy tanks that went to this flank, as we can see. Side scraping him out here, I managed to absorb a shot into my tracks. 
put one more shot into him before he drives down into the dip there. But now the T-34-85 is of course behind that ridge there and I'm thinking okay there's no point in trying to take him down here. So I, I want to get another position but for that I first have to kill this Chaffee. But the Chaffee uh, yeah, runs away. So now I will be able to put more shots into the T-34-85 because I've got a different angle on him. So he's got uh, two choices here. Or he wants to get shot by me or he will rather get shot by my team. As you can see. And he chooses to get shot by me. So he's dead. And now the cap siren is going off. And then as the cap circle is down here that means that or the Chaffee or the M4 is went into the cap. And that is the question answered there. So he fired, so I'm going to fire twice here. Cromwell, <laughs> Cromwell, the Comet has got a really quick reload time. Not such good alpha damage though, but good DPM. So I will be able to put a few shots into him for every time he fires at me. So this is just a standoff here to see who goes first. But then he turns his attention to my team and I can easily put some side shots into him. He fired, so I'm going to put another shot in. And then he gets taken out by my team. But oh my god, a Jeff just got spotted behind me. What the hell? So I don't have time to turn hold my tank around. So what I do, I try to reverse angle here. But of course, Comet, that's not going to do me very much. Now I press the wrong button and it results in firing into the rock. I managed to unlock the target. So there, and I can take out the Jeffy. Well, now this flank is cleaned up. I've lost over half of my health though. I have changed yeah this is, this is not really good it's not working very good but as you can see my team is doing a good job the scores are pretty even right now but as you can see the enemy team has managed to flank my team so that means that my team is probably going to die anyways because they're getting shot at from two different angles so the thing is i have to try to stop that advance but that is really hard to do and now i'm going to shoot this kv1 which might be one of my mistakes in this game because this, this is irrelevant damage. It doesn't really matter if I kill the KV-1 or not. Because he won't be able to damage my team very heavily. And it would be even better to take down the Tiger P or the, the AMX or the Panther or something like that. But I didn't have shots on these guys. And either way I had to relocate again to get closer to them. So it wouldn't have been the best decision because it would have lost me a lot of time. Tiger P goes in, this doesn't look very good at all, does it? Oh well, I'm just looking here if I can take down some tanks. And it looks like that SU-12244 is shootable. So we're just going to aim up some shots here. Behind the bush here, we will never be able to spot me. Especially with his bad view range. Nope, missed again. But luckily the Yak Panther behind me takes him down. But as you can see, this looks gets worse by the minute the kv1 is on low health so he will be an easy kill but of course killing a tier 5 tank in a tier 7 matchup won't make that much of a difference oh there's a panther though that's a good kill will i be able to take him down here but doesn't look like it because there's a ridge between him and me and i'm driving backwards at him so no no shot there but the thing is as you can see my team has just melted away now so the thing I need to do now is try to make as many kills as possible. I want to take out as many guns out of the game. Good shot. Destroyed. Good shot on the AMX there. Still, there's a lot of enemy tanks and they have got a lot of health left between them. I've only got four AP shots left. And then I'll have to fire my APCR shots for the rest of the game. But as we can see, there's only he's showing his side armor, so I will be able to put some shots in, hopefully. Enemy armor is Good. Hit. But now he's behind the ridge, and there's a Tiger P. He's angled. Both tanks miss me, luckily, because that would have been really bad if they had hit me. I will be able to put some shots into this guy, though. I don't need premium shells for this guy. I'm thinking the Panther might be there, but no. And because of that mistake, the Tiger P went into some cover here. But now I have to get some distance between me and my enemies because of course when the Yak Panther is going to die and he's going to die really soon they will of course all come after me and if uh, there's not enough distance between me and the enemy then I will never be able to take down this game but it doesn't look very good here because I've only got 20 
APCR rounds left. Will it be enough to take down every tank in the enemy team? There's a Panther on low health. I will take him down here, hopefully. And I do, but uh, now I am... <laughs> yeah, quite afraid. Because as you can see, they are really close to me now. So the only thing that I can do is flee, run away. But oh my god, this is just looking horrible now. This tier 5 can easily penetrate me. It does bounce that shot though, but I will never be able to take down this game now anymore. I take down two tanks in a 1 versus 6 situation, but now the T29 has got a really good shot. We're done for. Everyone get out. And I knew this because, of course, I was driving up this ridge here. And that was the only way to get out of that situation. Perhaps I should have tried to use this rock, as you can see here, more to try and get out of the line of sight of my enemies. But it didn't do it. But still, this was a very good game for the Comet. 4,000 damage done almost. And 5 kills. Even in a tier 7 match, this is a really good result for the Comet. So although I didn't manage to win the game, it still was a very good result. An ace tank uh, for a defeat, and a crap load of tokens, and a high caliber medal. I was top on damage on both teams, and I got 5 kills. And I still didn't manage to win the game. Although I ran out of AP shots and had to fire a few premium rounds, I still made a very good profit. Also, it will be quite fun, I think, to... Just play a game and see if we can secure the first win of the day. So let's go. Let's do some live gameplay again because I've got my new PC and all that stuff. And I haven't done the live gameplay in a very, very long time. Perhaps I should upload a video about that this holidays as well. But yeah, this is not a very good matchup as you can see. It's not tier 9 but there are a lot of tier 8s. And a lot of tier 8s are just as bad as a lot of tier 9s. This is... This is just horrible. Just look at it. There's, They only have two tier 7 tanks. And the rest are light tanks or even lower. That's just horrible. And there are a lot of tier 8 tanks. Especially these tanks I have to be really afraid of. Because the Comet doesn't have that much penetration. As some of you guys will know. This tank doesn't have the best penetration. I've got a lot of premium rounds loaded in this tank. So... Perhaps we should be able to do some good things here. But what is the right thing to do now? Because I know that those medium tanks are going to try and and spot the mid-ridge. What I normally always do on this map is try to spot uh, from this mid-ridge here. But as there are really dangerous tank destroyers on the enemy team, I don't really want to try that out right now. It scares me to death every time. <laughs> anyway, last time I did what I am going to do now. I died horribly because of a very good arty shot. Did the Bulldog spot me? Yes, he did. So I'm not going to peek out now. The stupidest thing would be to peek out now. Just look. Oh, this is bad. Immediately, this this doesn't look very good here. Am I going to have to pressure the Bulldog? Yeah, I think I can. Uh, he saw me on time. He did a tunnel vision, I think. I going to come up again? I think so, yes. Can I put a shot on TMU? No. Nah, this guy is also playing a very dangerous game here. I know I want to put a shot on him, but I can't really. Oh god. These light tanks are doing a very good job. They're just locking me, yeah, locking me down. I can't really do anything about it. But I think my best bet here might be to help my medium tanks out over there because there's a CDC thing that I can easily penetrate. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what CDC? Oh well, maybe I should put some shots into this T-37 right now because the Pershing has pulled back. This thing has got a lot of good gun depression capabilities, so... Oh, and there's a... Oh, damn. I'm getting rushed now. What the hell? What the hell am I doing? Oh, this is bad. This is bad, this is bad. Oh god, what did I do? Please die, you son of an idiot. I don't know what I did there, guys. I think I... Yeah, I did. I do know what I did wrong there. I turned my tank the wrong way. So, my turret... Yeah. My t yeah let's just repair the turret as well, man. When I uh, tried to engage that guy, I turned my tank the wrong way. And I lost almost all of my health for it. Not that I was going to be able to bounce him if I turned my frontal armor towards him. But I could have 
tried at least. Pershing is right there. You'll see when blue on my team gets weird. Anyway. I'll never be able to penetrate this guy reliably. So shall we just go in here? No, no, that's not that's not a good thing here. Maybe I should try the other side here. Yeah, he will probably die. Okay, now I need to help this guy out. Enemy armor is hit. Nice. I hopefully won't get killed by a T28 prototype. No. No, luckily not. Okay, my goal is to get 2k damage in this game. It's easier said than done, but still. Oh, this is a good opportunity. What the hell? Oh, he's behind a... Oh, what the hell? That shot went so much to the right, to the left. Oh, this is a very good opportunity. Kill him now. Low roll. Let's kill him now, hopefully. Nice. That's good. That's good. Okay, I'm not going to be able to help my team there, but it's good to know where the T28 prototype is now. Oh god, there's an 87. I'm not going to peek out to try and shoot that guy. I want to try and hit the 87. Oh. Oh man, well done. Well done to you, man. Well done. I didn't expect the River Larise to be camping all the way back there. What the hell, man. He did the right thing. He was a very good player as well. GG. Well played. Luckily, guys, we did manage to win it. It wasn't that bad, to be honest. I didn't do as much damage as I had wanted to, but the experience is good. Uh, it's, it's pretty alright. I hope to get at least a thousand experience average per game. So just to make sure that I will be able to reach my goal on time. But that looks quite alright. 2k up at once. But anyway guys. That was the first video. When I will be able to unlock the Centurion one, Mark 1. I will be able to make another video for you guys. If you want me to progress this. And make videos on every tank that I get in this line. And even more. Leave a like. This was the first video. And hopefully a lot more in this week of holidays. Hopefully you liked it. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time in making this video. And as usual, subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.